Everybody, my name is Adjust Reaper, and welcome back to their Minecraft World War II tank tutorial. And today we are doing the German Super Heavy E100. And uh, this does have an interior, so that's going to happen toward the later end of the video, as I as is my custom with doing these videos. I'm not going to get too much into this because I'm on a tight schedule right now, so I'm just going to begin right into the build itself. Plus, I feel like all of you would rather just get straight to the build right now rather than have me rambling on, as I typically do. So. To start out, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs and our nether brick stairs, and as you can already see, I did the little stair design for our road wheels, because we're going to have overlapping wheel designs, kind of like how the Germans did in real life. So, we're going to have uh, four wheels on the inner row of, uh, we're going to do four wheels using the dark oak stair method, like this. Okay, so back to back stairs, and then on the outer layer, we're going to do nether brick stairs. Okay, so you should have eight wheels in total per side. So now that we've done the left side, we're going to skip over three spaces, and we're going to begin with the wheels on this side. Same as before, just we're going to invert uh, what we did. So the nether brick is actually going to be on the right side of the dark oak this time, rather than on the left side. So, from back facing toward the front of the vehicle, but we're looking at the back of the vehicle right now, this is how your wheel design should look. So, then we're going to take some stone brick stairs, I mean slabs, we're going to do three slabs here, three slabs here, same goes for the front, do all of that. The wheels are literally just the hardest part of this whole layer. After you've done the slabs, we're going to do two top slabs in front of the uh, track system, and then we're gonna do two at the back as well. These are top placed slabs, do it on both track systems. And after you've done that, we're going to take some cobblestone slabs. We're gonna do three top placed slabs right here. Um, yeah, that's correct. And then we're gonna take our stone slabs and we're going to fill the bottom up from there. Uh oh, very bad FPS drop right there. This computer is not going to last me too much longer. Mm. Alright, so from the back all the way toward about here. And then three top slabs of stone brick right there, right before the tracks start curving upwards. Now, let me be certain that everything is done for layer one. Just taking a quick look around. Everything appears to be done. So, now that we're done with layer one. Oh my goodness, this FPS is horrible. Hang on, this is not going to do me good. There. Yeah, you can see just how bad it is. I have to work with five uh, chunks of render distance. Um, now that we're done with layer one, let's begin with layer two as quickly as possible. So, one of the hardest parts is going to be looking underneath these skirts. And yeah, I actually went to the trouble of actually making these skirts. I don't even think I have an inner front driveway, do I? I don't. I may just throw one in there because it's probably going to be for the best. Uh, but at the back, uh, it's just bottom slab and top slab? Okay. Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm not going to because I remember now how, my, how the E100's track system is laid out. That's why I'm not going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're not going to start with the skirting yet because that's going to be kind of uh, difficult. Actually... You know what, we're going to start with the, with the skirts first, because trying to do this is going to be a royal pain in the butt. So, we're going to grab some spruce stairs and spruce slabs, and we're going to make sure we have everything that we do need. Alright. So, first, what I want us to do is we're going to take our stone brick stairs. We're going to put a stone brick stair right here. And diagonal upward from the where the tracks end and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spruce stairs now um, okay so we're gonna take our spruce stairs and then facing from the inside of the vehicle 
We're going to do spruce stairs. One, two, then stone brick. One, two. Alternate. We're just going to keep going, alternating backward. Back to about... Right, we have to do one more. And then we do one spruce stair, and then a slab, top slab right behind it. And now we're going to mimic this to the other side. So stairs, 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 more stairs, just a few more, one more stair, and then slab. Uh, we'll save the ex we'll save the decoration on the outside of the skirts for after. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stone brick slabs, do two here on the back of the tracks, bottom placed, and then we're going to do top slabs all the way up to about here. Just mimic what I'm doing. Because in the end, the tracks really aren't too important because you're not seeing them. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna take our stone brick stairs, do two here, do two here. Um, then, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some stone. Do two, uh, three blocks of stone here. Uh, it's always kind of difficult doing this part. Alright, I see what I do. So we're going to take our stone slabs, do a top slab here, top slab here. We're going to do three top slabs of stone brick right there. I think it's stone brick. Yes. And then we're going to do stone brick stair here, and then one here. Make sure the backs are facing toward each other. And what this is supposed to give the illusion of where the, uh, the toe hooks would be. That's to give the illusion of where they would be. Um... So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go toward the back of the vehicle. Let me just break this open for a second. What the heck? Why are you hollow? I don't recall doing that, but uh, okay. Okie dokie. We're going to come to the back of the vehicle. We're going to do... Okay. So... Right here in the center between the two tracks, we're going to do a stair, an upside down stair of um, spruce. We're going to do a block of cobblestone right here, a block here too. Now contrary to what you saw over there, we're not going to make this thing have like half slabs in the engine deck. I don't remember why I did that. Whatever the reason was, it wasn't completely intentional. So what we are going to do is we're just going to fill the whole thing up with stone and then we'll carve out what we need later when we're going to do the interior. Uh, we're going to take our nether brick stairs and our nether brick fence post. We're going to do nether brick stair right here with the back facing toward the back. One here as well. Right behind it do a nether brick fence post. And that's it for the base of the exhaust port. Then we're going to grab some signs and some buttons. You can probably already tell what that vehicle is right there. Yeah. Uh, if you it, relative to what we're building right now, y'all can probably figure out what that is. So, next we're going to take our buttons, do a button there, buttons there, two there, two there, and then we're going to put uh, blank signs on each of these rows of stone brick stairs. Do that on both sides, just to add as much detail as we can to the E100. Then we're going to do two buttons there, two there, two there, two there, one there. And with that, I think we're finished layer two. So now that we're done with layer two, let's move on to layer three. So moving on to layer three, we're going to take our stone brick stairs first. We're going to do stair here, skip a space, do one here. We're going to skip all the way back to right here, and then we're going to do three here. And then we check the other side. It's going to be two, skip four, one, skip three, two. All right, so... I already, I already forgot. Okay. So, one. Skip three. There. Skip four. Huh? Oh, no. It was two. Skip three. Right. Two. Skip three. And then skip four. And then boom. And then right there. And then you have that part done. So now that that part's done, uh, we're going to, we'll get back to those in a second. We're going to come to the back of the vehicle, 
going to have an upside down uh, cobblestone stair right here, then curve it. Do one here, curve it. We're going to take our spruce wood stairs, do three here. And then we're going to take our spruce, I mean our cobblestone walls, one here, one here. And that's going to uh, continue to finish off part of the exhausts. We're going to need pistons, because we're moving on to the engine deck part. We're going to do two here, two here. And then we're going to need some... This is... Alright. That is cyan terracotta. We're going to take our cyan terracotta. We're going to do four here, four here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take gray shulker boxes, furnaces, and we're going to need our polished andesite. So, first, polished andesite we're going to do right here, we're going to do it in the shape of an L. Then we're going to take our furnaces, do two here, and then we're going to do our shulker boxes like that. Actually, reverse those. Black part, the more blacker part should be toward the furnace. Uh, then we're going to take our spruce wood logs. We're going to fill this whole open area with logs. We're going to take a crafting table, throw one here. We're going to take our cobblestone stairs, and we're going to do a row of seven right across, like that. Looking at the other side, we're going to need smooth sandstone and the crafting tables again, and shulker boxes, but I see how those are placed. So, in this space of three, put some smooth sandstone, and then we're going to need two crafting tables and then two shulker boxes facing upward like that. We can cover the crafting tables with blank signs as well as the sandstone. Come over to the other side, we're going to look at the log. We're going to need ladders, we're going to put a ladder right here and one right there with the space of two in between. Um, and then what I presume we can do is we can just really just fill up the whole thing with the cyan terracotta by now. And I, we may have to do a little bit where the driver's hatches is. We may have to break out a couple of blocks, I don't remember. But uh, we can just really just fill up this whole layer with the cyan terracotta. And we'll get back to that after when it's time to uh, break it open. Alright, so right here actually we're going to have a top slab of cobblestone where you can make it a full block either way. If you're doing the interior, do this. If you're not, then whatever. Um, going to have break these spots open. Two top slabs of uh, two top slabs of stone slabs in either side. And then I just realized I have to have a sign right here on this crafting table. I'm going to take our stone brick slabs. Do one here. Here, I'm going to take our stone slabs, and these are going to be two here, two here. We're going to take our cobblestone slabs, do three. We're going to take our daylight sensors, we're going to put one here, turn it blue, one over here, turn it blue. We're going to do stone pressure plates, one here, one here. Come over here, we're going to grab some gray carpet some iron trap doors, and a skeleton skull. So, gray carpet in these spots here. We're gonna put a backwards facing skeleton skull right here. It's gonna make like the headlight, it's gonna be the illusion of the headlight. Iron trap doors in those spots. And I think with that we're done layer three. So now that we're done with layer three, let's move on to layer four. So moving on to layer four, we're gonna take some rails. Put a rail here and here. Make sure that they're facing in this orientation so it looks like uh, straps or braces keeping the log on. And then we're going to take some rails and we're just going to do a circular shape here. Do some over here. And that's going to make the illusion of radiators. I think it's the radiators or it's the intakes. I forgot. Um, three uh, gray carpet there, three gray carpet there. We're going to do a stone button right here in the center. We're going to take our iron trap doors. We're going to do two here, 
and then we are going to take our stone buttons yet again. We're going to do four here. Then we're going to do the base of the antenna. And you know what? While we're at it, we're just going to do the whole antenna rather than drag it out. So one, two, three blocks tall on the antenna. Notice on the block which it's on. Uh, we're going to take our skeleton skulls yet again, and we're going to put them on a uh, angle like this, facing inward, and that's going to be the top of the exhausts. And now that we've done that, we can take, uh, we'll head to the front of the vehicle. We're going to do some buttons. We're going to do a button here, here, and then we're going to take our iron trap, iron pressure plates, and then do two there on those locations. Now that we're done with that, we'll start with the base of the turret, which is going to be shaped. Okay. So, a few stairs like this, backs facing each other, right in the center, do a cyan terracotta block. Do two more stairs there. And then we're going to curve it to the sides. Then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six. Same goes for the other side one, two, three, four, five, six. And then what we're going to do, to make our lives simple, we're just going to fill up this whole section with stone. We'll take out what we don't need after. Okay? Okay. So now that that part's done, we're going to jump back to the front of the turret, and we're going to take... And we'll just head over here and grab it. it makes life a lot easier. We're going to need nether brick slabs. We're going to need stone brick slabs. We're going to need a quartz slab. And then we'll come back over. So, off the front of this cyan terracotta, we're going to do one top slab. We're going to do two top slabs of uh, stone brick. And then we're going to do quartz. And then we're going to do four more stone brick. And that will make the whole bottom part of the gun. And with that, we are done with layer four. So now that we're done with layer four, let's move on to our final layers of layers five, six, and then so on, however high that antenna goes. I can't tell from here. So, let's move on. So, moving on, we're going to take our stone pressure plate, put one at the end of the gun, take our gray carpet, we're going to do one, two, three, skip the space, do one, then we're going to go into our inventory, we're going to grab one white carpet, throw it around top of where the quartz block is, that's just meant to make it look like a, a white stripe that the Germans would throw over their uh, barrel. And then we're going to take our daylight sensor, throw one there, and then we're going to put right behind that another slab of nether brick right behind it. Then we're going to take some nether brick stairs, and this is going to be, we're going to do a little bit more work on the mantlet itself. Do a stair here, then curve it on the sides and either side like that. Boom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, let me just pay attention for a second. Uh, I'm actually not too certain what those stairs are like right behind the gun mantlet, so I'm going to just guess at that. So we're just going to do upside down stairs like this. Then we're going to do stairs like this. And then we're going to curve it and go back like this, all the way to the back of the turret, like before. And then we're going to fill it all up with stone. Um, except, I didn't realize this, we're going to curve the stairs in right here. And then we're going to do a full block of nether brick right there on the back of the turret. Then we're going to take some sandstone stairs and we're going to need our wooden trapdoor do a wooden trapdoor right here we're going to do sandstone stairs like this that is incorrect uh so we have to make sure that these stairs are placed in such a way on the corners of the turret that they're not pulling the sandstone stairs into it um i think that's all we have to do on that layer no nope, didn't catch that head back over we're going to break these two spaces we're going to do nether brick stairs right in that uh, spot. Then we're going to go into the next layer, we're going to take our daylight sensors, we're going to do one there, three here, convert them all to blue, do one here, convert it, three across, convert all but the one in the center, do one here, one here, don't convert these, we're going to take our nether brick slabs, do three, we're going to take our uh, iron trap doors, do two here, we're going to take our skeleton skull. We're going to do one here, make it face toward the nether brick slabs on the very top. Then we're going to take some stone slabs, do one here, one here, and then we're going to take our iron bars once again. And then from right here, we're 
we're going to go up one, two, three. Yes, only three. And with that, if you're not staying for the interior, that is the E100 complete without an interior, but without any... Oh, no, I, I just missed these little slabs. No big deal. Uh, just throw sandstone slabs on those two spots right there, and now we're done. So now that we're done with all of this, we're going to begin work on the interior. But if you're not sticking around for the interior, I hope you've all enjoyed the E100, and I'll see you all again next time. You know the drill. Uh, let's begin with the interior. Now, beginning on the interior, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the top of the E100. We're going to break into it. Down into here, we're going to break back until we see this nether brick block. We're going to break forward until we see the stairs on the top, and then we see the gun mantlet on the bottom. Then we're going to break underneath here. Boom. And then I think we can break down into the tank, down to the floor from here. I wouldn't touch the sides yet. And then just break forward until about here, and then break underneath. That should be it. Maybe, maybe about there. We'll go to there to be safe. And that should be all we need to open up for now. So now let me go see the actual inside of the E100. Now here's the thing, let me use game mode 3 because I know that there's no way I'm accessing um, the inside of the driver's compartment by conventional means. So, seeing where this is at, alright, so we fix that. I was right on that. Alright, so we're going to start from the driver's compartment and we're going to work our way up. Um, looks like we do break out a little bit here. Uh, just the... Mm, okay, so here's fine. Forward one, and then break four on the left side, three on the right. Let's head over there and take care of that. So, we go in. So from the... We go forward one, we're gonna go one, two, three. And one, two, three, four. Uh, we're going to need some polished andesite, as much I noticed. So we're going to do a 3x3 three three square, do one up in the center. And now we're going to head back over so I can see what I have to do. So I just need to get some of that extra stuff broken out so I know what I'm doing. So, dispensers, lever, that, lever there. Alright, simple enough. I can't keep that image in my head. Alright, so going in to here, we're going to <clears throat> take some dispensers. Put one here, put one here, we're going to put a lever on this one. We're going to put a lever in front of this one like that. We're going to do a re comparator here. I think this is the way I made it face. It's going to be an iron trap door in front of that. We're going to do a activator rail right here. It has to go back like this. We're going to need some spruce slabs. Do one here, one here. We're going to need cobblestone walls. I think it goes all the way across like this. Then iron bars here. Maybe it doesn't go all the way across. I know it goes all the way across with the iron bars. I don't remember about that though. Uh, let me go check that out now. So we've already gotten pretty far already. Alright, that'll work. That goes there. Alright, so no, it's just an iron trap door, but they go back twice and... Nope. It will go up. Okay. Alright, I see what I have to do. So, going back in. Boom. We're going to... Fill in these little gaps with stone slab. We're going to break that spot right there. <clears throat> We're gonna put a note block in there or a jukebox, whatever you prefer. It's the radio. It's meant to signify. It's meant to symbolize the radio. Right here, we're gonna have an iron trap door. Then what we're gonna do is before we close off the driver's section to us, we're going to put a blank sign here, a blank sign here, and then close it up. Then what we can do is we can take some 
a cobblestone stairs. Do one here, one here. Put the back facing for the walls, and we're gonna put a stone slab right there. I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. Is it a stone slab? It is indeed. So then we're gonna fill those spots with. Uh, I would be correct to assume that those are dispensers. And then on that layer, we're gonna we're just gonna fill around that. I didn't even realize the skulls were here. I don't even remember what those are for. I don't remember what uh, those were supposed to uh, represent, but figure it out. Okay, move one. <clears throat> Head back in. We're gonna grab our wither skeleton skulls real quick because these are neat apparently. Don't remember why. Put them on on the angle like this. Don't want it to be the sharp angle. You want it to be the gradual angle like that. Like that. Then we're gonna take our iron trap doors. We're gonna wrap them around the um, block of polished endocyte all around like this. Then we're gonna take our dispensers and we can just fill these gaps. All right, fine. Like that then. Do want to play like that? Stop being mean to me. Fill these gaps. <clears throat> those will be your um, uh, ammo racks, but those won't be your ready racks. The ready racks we'll have to do in a second. We're going to take our uh, stone slab and do one, come back, one more, place one on top, and then do one more, I think. I think that's it. Alright, and then we're going to do those. We're going to fill those spots. I don't want to go to the mouse. Wrong, super heavy. We're going to do a chest here, chest here, one here, one here. We're going to grab our iron bars. We're going to fill these spots. I think cyan slabs go in those spots there. We're going to do a stone, uh, uh, we're going to do spruce slabs on either of those sides. We're going to do a spruce slab here and here. We're going to put some iron bars right back here. <clears throat> and then after this, I don't think there's anything else. I'm going to go double check. Actually, no, there's... Alright, so there's just these in front of the gun, and then that's it. Alright, so head back in one more time. Put a cobblestone wall in front of those spruce slabs. And then... Grab our stone slabs and close up the E100. Close up this one too while I'm at it. And with that, we are done with the E100 German Super Heavy. Um, or Heavy, depending on how you want to classify it. Maybe I'll do the Tiger Mouse variant of it later, which is just the same chassis, but it has like a mouse turret. Maybe I'll do that later. That's kind of what the Dwarf Thunder has, and it's, uh, one of the other planned variants. I think there was actually two planned variants of the E100. Uh, one with this turret and then both like the mouse turret. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. If there's any tanks that you'd like to see in the future, please feel free to leave a comment. I always see them. Or feel free to join my Discord, my Facebook group, or my or go follow me on Twitter. And um, you can leave requests there too, and I'll be sure to see them, more than likely. And, um, yeah, I will be sure to get to them in the future. But, uh, I'm kind of getting tired now, so I'm just going to end this here. So, I hope you all enjoyed the E100. I hope you all make some good use out of it. And I hope I see you all again next time. So, God bless and goodbye. Stay safe.